I implore you all to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What's up, Grimpachi? Good to have you here. I think you're probably my first. As weird as that sounds. Okay. I know that there's, uh, and I'm probably going to say this like five, six other times or more. I know that there's like a lot of discussion today going on on Twitter about like a certain political issue. Um, but I'm definitely not touching on that. You know, people can ask me, um, but my response will be the same. Like I, I just don't think I should comment on that to be honest. It's a gaming channel. I I know that there's like a lot of, um, you know, a lot of controversy, a lot of broken hearts with that. But at this point in my life, at this point on my channel, that's not really something I'm interested in talking about. <clears throat> and I'm trying to avoid saying too much on Twitter as well. For obvious reasons. I got a big steak just chilling. I just had some carnitas and they were delicious except for the restaurant forgot to give me my flour tortillas so I just kind of like put some of the sauce on the meat and the rice and mix it all up and it was still pretty good I was like man I am not driving back there because they forgot my tortillas but I kind of wanted to at the same time I don't remember what we were doing. Um, we came here for something. Let's look at our journal. Of which, for whatever reason, there's nothing. Thoughts on Roller Dome? Is it Roller Drome or Roller Dome? Um, I think I know what you're talking about. I don't know. I guess it looks okay. I'm not, you know, I'm not terribly interested in the game myself. Damn, she's holding that broom like she was going to walk up and slap somebody with it. Yeah, I don't have a lot of thoughts on it. I don't know. We'll see, uh... We'll see what it's all about when it comes out. Man, we came to this town for a reason and... Oh, what's up, bud? My horse just got rustled! Keep from under me! Slow down, slow down, slow down. Yeah! Jesus. I'm gonna yank him right off of that horse. And where'd the horse go? Because it... Dude, it literally killed itself. Probably because it was scared. Now you know you're gonna have to pay. You are gonna have to pay. What's up, Popo? If you like the Longhorn Steakhouse, try their Southwest shrimp. Freaking amazing. It's been a while. Well... We're gonna give him the same treatment that uh, he unfortunately forced that horse into. I don't know if we're high enough. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him off that bridge. Yep, I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're going on a little ride. Go. 
Can't just be going around killing horses. King of Ruckus up IC sub chat on Twitter the other day. You said you think there may be 10 games ever worth 70. What are some of those for you? Yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> when it was an early access, I think I only paid like $20, $25 for it. But like one game that comes to mind is um, like Killing Floor 2. I've got, I don't know, 900 hours or something in that, I think. Uh, Fallout New Vegas, uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, you know, a couple of the Gears games. Um, I actually did, I, I paid more than 70 for that because I bought the regular edition of Gears 1 at the time. And I bought the collector's edition um, after the fact a little bit later. And then, you know, Gears 2, obviously... Uh, Red Dead Redemption, this game, Red Dead Redemption 2, The Witcher 3, you know, um, the fact that that game sells for $10, $15 on a sale is ridiculous. It's a total steal for the madness that you experience. Um, games like that, you know, um, you know, Link to the Past, I've beat numerous times, but it's been a really long time. Something like that, probably. And back then, games probably were a little closer to $70 anyway. So, maybe even more. It's been a long time. So, I think they were actually 70 or maybe 80 during that time. I beat Far Harbor for the first time. Decent DLC. The map and enemies are good. I've heard good things about it. <clears throat> but... All right, we're going to see if we can maybe go around this without, like... No, 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 no. I, I need him. I need him. Oh, what? Come on now. Come on, don't do... Don't do game things. All right, cool, cool, cool. Dude, what's going on over there? Look at those dudes running, shooting that dude. You just gotta love this game. This is 2010. This is 12 years ago. There's all kinds of like really, you know, dynamic random shit that can happen in this world. I love it. So we're definitely going to kill this asshole. Watch me fall through. Fuck this guy. It won't even let me drop him. Oh, come on. Let me kill him. Yeah, back S and E S days you have higher sometimes it's was ridiculous. Obviously my mom was paying for stuff at the time. So, you know, I didn't really care about money. I didn't understand how hard it was to adult. I didn't respect it. They're not gonna let me drop this guy. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding. What about over there? That nah, doesn't seem high enough. Dude, he screamed on the way down. <laughs> he shot him in the head. Not sure how that's uh, possible, but all right, Rockstar. We'll accept it. Yeah. I really need to finish. Um... Oh, 
Wind Waker. That would be like another game. Look at this motherfucker, dude. That would be like another game that I would say is worth the money. Um... Unbelievable. Watch Dogs 2 is a game that has so many random things in the world. It's crazy. I saw a whole neighbor come out because a woman was beating her cheating boyfriend's car with a bat. Cops came too. See, stuff like that's awesome in games. Even even for a Ubisoft game, you have to you have to kind of like respect that, you know. A lot of developers they don't they don't do stuff like that. Damn, those dudes like separated to move out of my way. It's kind of interesting. Is there a wanted poster here? Or? Maurice. Maurice. The bounty target was last seen near Mercer Station. Alright. Let's go check that out. Holy shit, that's far. At least it seems far. Let's go. Yeah, I mean... There might be more than 10 games, if I really thought about it, that I would say, to me, are worth full price or higher. But there aren't many. Even, even games that I really liked a lot, um, I'd say they're more worth like 50, 60 at the most. Let's go. See, it's crazy because these people will be like, yeah, this game was worth full price or it's worth 70. Hell, it's worth, I'd pay 200. This game was amazing. But they only play it once. Or they don't even beat it and pretend like they did, you know? Like, I, I know that that's a very small group of people that, like, do crazy shit like that. But it happens. I need to go see about this dude real quick. I don't remember what we were doing exactly. Oh, that's right. Got that deed for him. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, there's blood on this deed, Marston. I didn't tell you to kill the poor old man. Here, take the money. That old bastard's got a son living up in Blackwater. Oh, I'll take the money. Real careful not to publicize this sale too much, unless killing entire families is a pleasure of yours, of course. Good luck with the. Property. Yeah, Red Dead 2 was one of those games. Uh, Witcher, obviously, one of those games. Games like that definitely go on the list. You know, I've beat Resident Evil 4 and, like, Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil Remake countless times. All those, I would say, are worth full price or more. You know, stuff like that. Uncharted 3... And you know what? I've even grown to really like Uncharted 4 more than I did the first couple times I beat it. I don't... I don't know if it's quite the masterpiece that, like, a lot of diehards feel that it is, but it is a high-quality game. Very high-quality game. In my opinion. Well, obviously, quality is subjective. 
And those games are not for everybody. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Share this on Twitter. Share it on Facebook. I want you to tell all your friends about me. So many people said $70 was too much. We all knew it'd be, it wouldn't matter because gamers, especially on console, were sadly junkies for new and shiny shit. Yeah, I mean, if Sony came out tomorrow and Nintendo came out tomorrow and said, fuck you guys, we're raising the price of all games to $90, people are going to pay it. People are going to pay it. Yeah, Xenoblade, those games, I have two. Um, but I, I've yet to get to that. I've paid just about close to full price for the handful of Switch games that I have. I have like, I don't know, 10 or 12 Switch games, I think. I'm not sure. With Switch, I'm a little less, um, I'm a little less impulsive when it comes to, like, buying because I know that I can get better versions of a lot of those games elsewhere, and I don't care about playing on the go, nor do I really have time for it, like maybe I once thought that I would. So, I'm much more selective and careful, and Switch games... Especially the Nintendo first party stuff. We all know that those don't come down in price too often. Not even a town, man. You guys are retarded. That guy got fucked up, dude. Don't even think about running, bro. It's rare for a Nintendo game not to be full price. Yeah, like Luigi's Mansion, I got that on a sale, but it was still like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. What can I say, partner? I know people have been asking for me to do reviews on games like that. And they'll come. Man, I still need to get out my review for Star Wars Fallen Order. I'm so slacking on so many different things. damn game oh my god these damn bots bro hold on I'm about to mod Grimpachi at least um, oh shit Alright, Grimpachi, you got some mod powers now. It's unfortunate that
What are you playing on? Uh, Xbox Series X. And now... You guys don't have to hear the game, and there shouldn't be an echo anymore. Well, you won't hear the game through the microphone, hopefully. I, I know what you meant. But yeah, uh, let's be honest. Like, this, this game, to me, should have received the same sort of treatment that GTA V did. And, you know, it been updated and, you know, improved in different ways throughout the years. Not so much with the online, but... Blasted him. Nah, it's not 60, bro. This game is a 30 FPS game. Do you think GTA 6 will live to that? I'm thinking with Dan Hauser and other key people, we might see some lame stories. Man, I'd, I'd like to think that since there's still a lot of, you know, talented people left at Rockstar, that we'll still get a high quality game, but. Who knows? Man, who knows? I I am concerned. I am concerned about the future. You found that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. I think one of the other Housers is still with the company, right? So, I, I think we'll still be in good hands, but who knows? I'm Herbert Moon! I've just been robbed! You gotta stop him! Seriously, bro? What this dude say his name was? Herbert Mood? Capture or kill the thief for like eight dollars. That kind of looks like that dude that's working with the sheriff. Alright, well it's not, but... Damn, it came through his right cheekbone. In through the back, out the right cheekbone. Shit's beast. Can I borrow this, friend? What do you think the more underrated... What's the more underrated Rockstar game, Bully or L.A. Noir? Well, Rockstar didn't develop L.A. Noir, but... If you're just talking about games that they publish, too, then... Let's go. I don't know. Probably L.A. Noir, I guess, even though I've never played it. Come on. Yeah, I think, yeah, Sam's still there. I'd like to think that they, you know, they know what people want. Now, do I think that there will be an even bigger focus with GTA 6's online um, than there was with 5? Yeah, absolutely. And even those fans that love the online stuff and don't really care about the story should temper their expectations a little bit, I think, because I'd almost be willing to bet that a lot of the content that you see with 5 is... Um, not going to make it into the game for six out of the gate. And you'll probably have to wait for a lot of stuff. So you're going to get like some of the stuff that was there with GTA 5 and like some new stuff. But you're not going to get like all of that content all at once. And it wouldn't surprise me if it doesn't release at a later date. Like um, we, that's what happened with GTA 5, right? Like the single player came out. And then the online came out a few months later or something, if I'm not mistaken. So, I uh, I would expect it to be something like that. And it will probably release with a lot less content at launch. 
I feel like Rockstar had to develop some part of it with how much money they put into it. I don't, I don't know if Rockstar helped with any of the development for that game or not. I, I know a lot of people like L.A. Noir. Maybe one day I'll give it a go and see how I feel about it. They've been censoring GTA, which means 6 will be compromised. I don't, I don't think it'll be compromised, um, at least in the way that you mean. I think, I, I think they'll be slightly less, you know, uh, controversial with some things. Like, you know, you turn on some of those radio stations and like some of that shit that you hear about, you know, I won't get into it, but you guys know what I'm talking about, like. Okay, cool. Also, make sure you hide that person, Grimpachi. Make sure that they can't post in here anymore. Appreciate it. Thank you. Heists weren't ready at launch. People were mad. I mean, yeah, because that was really something that Rockstar was hyping up, you know? You can't hype that shit up and then... Oh, yeah, uh, that's not going to be there at launch. Unacceptable. But I don't really care much about the online stuff anyway, so it doesn't really affect me. Like, I'll probably never play the GTA 6 online stuff unless there's, like, some really cool co-op stuff, like some more heists or, like, um... Like, after you play the heist on GTA Online, to me, that's the best that the online offers. So after that, there's really no reason to play it outside of free roam and just screwing around with your friends. I think you'll like L.A. Noir. I've been playing it and I'm almost done with it. Yeah, like I said, maybe at some point I'll give it another go, but... Probably won't be any time soon, if I'm being honest. These guys killing over here, man. What's going on? Think you can outgun me, huh? Alright. Fifteen dollars. I always enjoy putting a man in his place. <laughs> Easy as fifteen dollars ever. I guess you're just dog shit. Try not to put that word in my chat, which is why I didn't say it in the first place. Yeah, there's way too much sensitivity and that's exactly why I'm saying like, that's why I didn't say those words. Because somebody's going to get the wrong idea about what I'm saying or accuse me of being uh, phobic in some way or something. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, if you don't like something, if you disagree with something or someone else's stance on something, you're a, you're a phobic, you know? Oh, you don't like trees? You're a tree phobic. You know how dumb that is? Like, you can, like, phobic anything. Now, spiders. Spiders. 
Yes. Hate. Have have actual hate and fear in my heart. Spiders. Total arachnophobia. Have no trouble admitting that. Um, I just don't fucking like spiders, dude. Uh, Rockstar is so slow with games that Square Enix itself released more games. Yeah, but... At least you know when you get a Rockstar game, it's going to be something special. When Square Enix releases a game, you never know anymore. They're so hit or miss. It's like Dragon Quest will probably be good, but will Final Fantasy 16? I mean... Damn, how the hell do we get down there? Go back out to the road, I guess. You should play Kill It With Fire. It's an FPS about killing spiders. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if I'd want to play that. Like, spiders in games don't really get to me, but I will say, because they they still look so good, the the spiders in the Resident Evil remake, like, those can kind of catch you off guard because they're, like, crawling on walls and can be a little sneaky. Pro tip, though, especially on your first playthrough or two, you probably just want to run past those. Run past them, get items where you can, conserve ammo, so on and so forth. What about Kingdom Hearts 3? I ha Look, I bought the collection for Kingdom Hearts on PS4 this last year because it was a very, very cheap price. So at some point, I, I kind of want to get into Kingdom Hearts and see what all the fuss is about, but I don't know about Kingdom Hearts. Uh, three because that game came out and people were super hyped and they made them wait a long long time to finally bring it out and it kind of seems to me like it just sort of came and went I don't know if it's like necessarily a bad game but with the response to it and the fact that people don't really talk about it very much anymore says to me that it it probably didn't live up to the hype and the expectations that people had set for it for, you know, whatever, a decade or more of waiting, so. Grimpachi may have beat Kingdom Hearts 3. Maybe he can elaborate on that. I, I have no idea. Oh, Oh shit, this guy. Oh shit, these guys are not fucking around. Grimpachi, get rid of this guy. It's amazing that they can just keep coming in on these same names. Unreal. Let me go see what I can buy here at the store. Even the shop stuff is like so much more detailed in uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Howdy, friend. I got nothing but good, honest profit. Kingdom Hearts 3 Combat is good. The story was. So convoluted, people just didn't care in general, and that was... That was the hype, the story, so because that was bad, hype died. I think that's a map. For whatever reason, I can't buy pistol ammo. Maybe I'm maxed out, I guess. What is this? 
Slow speed. I think I'm good on that. Holy shit. Normal speed. We like fast horses. Why the hell would I want a normal speed horse? Can you pet the dog? I can't remember. You can in two. Ah, oh, we can't even pet the dog. Man, Far Cry 6 has been like 10 or 15 bucks so many times for PS5 on Amazon since its release. I always think about buying it, but one, I'm like, alright, when am I going to play it? And two... Is it even worth it? Like, Five's a good game, you know? Like, Five is a really good game. There's a lot of things to like about it. But it's so far from, you know, must-play amazing. Like, probably the only must-play Far Cry game I can tell people... That I can recommend personally and actually mean it is Three. Like, Far Cry Three, you know... And the little classic edition, whatever, remaster that Ubisoft did for PS4 and Xbox One. What a total jip. Like, complete ripoff. I, I don't know what they were thinking with that. I mean, they probably couldn't get it to 60 FPS or 1440p at least because of the CPUs or anything. But that shit is not worth it over the... 360 and PS3 if you already own those or obviously the PC version but yeah Far Cry 3 to me is the only must play Far Cry game and then 5's a little bit behind that but looking back it's kind of hard to say that it's a must play Speaking of that, one of these days I need to play the uh, Blood Dragon or whatever DLC for Far Cry 3. I have yet to do that. Don't chase me. Do not chase me, boys. Damn, the bounty thought he was going to roll up on his horse or something and do some serious damage. Look at these idiots. Got a hole in his head. I don't even know who that is, Ruckus. The best Far Cry to me is five or six. They improved so much that three is a waste of time. Far Cry two is good too. Far Cry 2 is like it's good if you're if you're remembering back what they were able to do at the time and some of the finer details in the game that a lot of other games weren't really doing but I don't me personally I don't think it's fun to play Dude I'm like stuck or something what's going on Nothing I could do. Far Cry 5 is must play for the story and set it. Like, it's a beautiful game. Like, Far, Far Cry 5, there's, like I said, there's a lot of things to like about it. No, no doubt about that. Anyone saying otherwise is lying to themselves. 
Like, you don't have to like Far Cry 5, but there's a lot of things to like about that game. Whoa, what the fuck? I didn't mean to kill this horse, it just... Oh, shit. Speaking of killing horses, I'm gonna die again. Fuck this guy, dude. I was just trying to see if there was any goodies or anything over here. Like treasure or... Look at that fucking water, man. Remember them saying Skyrim was... Or Far Cry 3 was Skyrim with guns? Who, who the hell said that? Why would you say that? Get off my lawn! Kinda wanna blast these dudes with a shoddy. Load, 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 load. Let's go, pussy. No, I'm gonna blast you. You ever see Breaking Bad? Walt well, work for him. Oh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Love Breaking Bad. Let's go. Amazing show. That's one of those shows that is it's pretty much perfect because they didn't drag it out. It's only five seasons. They they knew that there was only so much more that they could do with these characters um, in terms of the direction they were heading. And, you know, story arcs and different things like that had happened for several of the characters already, so it was, you know... It, that, that show is pretty much perfect for a lot of reasons. If I'm not mistaken, and maybe I am... But I, I think the guy that did X-Files also did that show. Now, X-Files has its problems, but... That shit was still amazing. Where are you going, bro? You don't want to fight anymore? You don't want to fight anymore? Chew on that. I don't know if you ever seen the chiropractor videos on YouTube crazy. They are more suggestive than medical. That Skyrim with guns damn near the marketing for the game. Really? I don't remember that at all. If Ubisoft was doing that, they were crazy. What's up, Thomas? What about the boys? So I haven't got around to watching the boys yet. I. It's kind of one of those things where... I'm pretty sure it's going to be good, right? Like, I'm pretty sure I know I'll like it. But I don't... I'm kind of waiting for it to be over so I can just, like, binge it all within, you know, three or four days or something, maybe. A week, week and a half, whatever it takes. I actually just started The Sopranos because I've always seen, seen bit, bits and pieces for it, but I've never actually got around to uh we'll take it from here like watching it watching it now that's some good money that's some damn good money yeah vince gilligan right yeah like x files is really solid too but like they made some mistakes along the way there's some plot holes that 
are just kind of like, holy crap, what's this? But I liked it so much that I just felt like I could forgive, you know? What's up, Icy? Good to see you streaming again, man. It is good to be streaming again. Forget what we were gonna do. Guess we'll go see the. Uh... Yeah, I was over. That's why I was over there, but he wasn't there before. X Files actually use HD cameras way before they hit the mainstream. Go back and watch it. Looks like modern in terms of picture quality. Um. I, that's that's a box set that I would love to have on 4K. And I never got around to watching the second movie for X-Files. But I've heard good things. But I've also heard not so good things. Not terrible things, but some not so good things about the second movie. With the movies, to me, they should have went like way bigger. You know, they should have just got crazy and... Maybe hired James Cameron or, you know, got Steven Spielberg involved or something to, like, just get get crazy, you know? People loved X-Files. And that little tune, the little, the intro theme is, like, one of the most recognizable in all of entertainment. Oh shit, it's like a cougar or something. Oh, what the fuck's going on? We got a two for McDoofer here. I can't skin it. These damn bots, I swear, they are, they are something else. Got that boar meat. Tough one, ain't you? And some cougar meat. And some cougar pelt. Cougar claw. Afro physicist. Finally caught one of the... Hey, what's up, man? I remember you. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, I can't stream for too, too long today. Um, I do work later tonight and then I do work in the morning as well whoa damn he fucked her up dude he was gutting her ass you want to go to hell with me huh Pig! That shit's amazing. Cobra is an underrated Sylvester Stallone movie. It's not, like, amazing. But, like, it's a pretty good action movie. <clears throat> you want to go to hell with me? Huh? Pig! Excuse me, mister. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Look. What the hell, hell do you want? You know what you're about to do? You don't want to do this. The hell are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, mister. I'm just here to say I don't think you should go through with it. Your wife, she loves you. Shit, mister. I don't know who or what you are, but I guess I'm grateful. I guess you're right. I was raised better than this. Imagine having that conversation. You know how awkward that is? I guess I was raised better than this. 
Two jobs, man. What the fuck? I can barely stand the people at one. I know. It's crazy, right? I thought I told you guys, some of you before, that I work too. Yeah, I work too. And then, you know, I obviously, like everyone else, I got my own other life stuff to attend to. It's amazing. I got I got paid yesterday and I got paid today. And like a like anyone else, you know, a ton of that money went toward bills and then you're just looking at the bank account like, well, I'm far from broke, but that sucks. Plus taxes, no one likes taxes. Up, sister. Put them no problem, I didn't get to play this game. Didn't have a PS3 or 360 back in the day. Most of them... I'm your old friend, most of my peer, peers in high school. Awesome game. If you ever get a chance to play it now or in the future, totally recommend this game. One of the best games ever made, period. Nobody likes paying bills. A shame. A shame to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid The demon all drink. So, uh, please excuse us. John Marston, so amazing. Now, Irish. A gallon gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> Look at this slob. I know where we can find a, a parts for you. Ease up uh, on the alcohol, another. my good man. Yeah. Ease up. How about a drink or two, mister? Sorry. How about you just suck no me off? No drinks, you just you what sucking you me off. Huh? Figured I'd help him out a little bit. I'm coming, I'm coming. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. I stop your head yeah, he was trying to stick up some nuns. What an asshole. Working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. Wish they would properly remake this in the zombie DLC. Or at least, you know, like a really good remaster, you know? Make it look, uh... Maybe not necessarily the game released in 2022, but a game that released in, you know, 2019 or something. But yeah, like... I still think it looks damn good. But a remaster, I would still like a lot. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back Can you imagine the fanboys if this game and Red Dead 2 had been exclusive to PlayStation or Nintendo or something? This is it. Come on, Smiler. Hurry up! Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shake oh, and man, what a drunken there. slob. I've been accompanying Irish. Like, can we... Can we get on with it? I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drip. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Good-for-nothing shyster. Keep your eyes open. Shake I think cats life, can see spirits. It is said 
right? Um, I think by some cultures in history that cats are the guardians of the underworld or something to that effect. I don't know how true some of that shit is. Sounds like Shake has only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son Endless of a pony whore. tears, drunk so Usher would man. laugh for weeks. <laughs> Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all time high. Trust me, you would hear a lot more dick eating if this game was exclusive to any of the big three consoles. I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Xbox tiers, PlayStation tiers, Nintendo tiers. Who, whatever platform it ended up being exclusive on. Wait, what are we doing? Oh. Smoke them if you got them. Sneak through the window? Like that window? Or... Oh, shit. Somebody's getting their ass beat. We ready to do it or what? What's going on here? Damn, I thought I was gonna die there for a second. Thank you for your kindness, Mister. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. It's gonna be one hell of a fight. Let's head before the door. Follow me. That's a bad spot here. Holy shit. I like that shit. Get out of here! All of you! Let's get out of here while we got the chance! Why is the name Kelly Devine in my head? Can't remember where I've heard that name from. Holy shit, this guy. You know exactly where you've heard that name from. Man, that chick's washed up. I don't even... I don't think she's done that shit for a long time. What? Look out right here. Show me that machine gun ammo. I guess we ain't gonna be friends now. 
Clocker 2 has been in development for 12 years. It was supposed to come out on 2-8-22. But another 12 years if the... Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. That's pretty extreme. But, I mean... Now we live in a crazy I'm world. Even shaky. You still owe me for the morphine pills to calm your nerves. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Let's go! Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot see. of this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I just Rob Whitehoff voice John Marston, he's the absolutely nothing. There must be growing on that holster of yours. Someone's gonna try He's to doing absolutely okay? nothing according to IMDB and believe his career didn't take game. off glory, like after this in RDR2. Yeah, I don't get it. Always shoot back. This guy's an asshole and lazy. Just drive, Irish. You're acting like a schoolgirl. Look out! There's one on the bridge up ahead. And that horse bucked him off, bro. Man, there's his hat. This game's amazing. What? Clear headshot. Not gonna let that dude live. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. Just looking for a beautiful woman in a wheelchair. We are going to be together till the wheels fall off. Holy shit, this guy. You really are. Uh, yes, of course. What do I think? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Beautiful, beautiful you, woman Irish, in a wheelchair. That machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged. Anybody want horses. some dry goods? All right. Oh. So are the uh, is the rising cost of gas and food and things like that making you guys stay in the house a little bit more, or you a little bit more of a homebody anyway, kind of like myself? Like I go out. I do a, a small handful of things, but, you know, going to clubs, bars, you know, a bunch of parties and shit like that, like, those days are behind me anyway. 
And thankfully, I'm, you know, nothing against anyone that does, but I'm at a point in my life where I'm glad that I don't have kids. Because that would cause me even more problems right now. People with kids right now, especially like single parent homes that are, you know, making less than $13, $14 an hour or something. Depending on the state that you live in, I, I really feel for those people, but... You gotta find a way to... To, to do better, to get better, to improve your life somehow. You know, if you don't, if you're not, if you're not one to do it for you, you know, think about your kids, I guess. Is it Chala Springs? Or could you almost say it's Koala Springs? Chala Springs? Chola Springs? I think it's Chala. Chala, Chala. Don't even say you didn't like um, Ja Rule when he first came out. Like his verse on Can I Get a and then his uh, Vinny Vetti Vici album. Like, that shit was pretty good. Even his second album was pretty good. I can understand why he got clowned in the end, but Ja Rule had some hits. I don't care what anyone says. People just need to buy a bike. Well, bike doesn't work for some people that are, you know, 20 miles or more away from work. But yeah, I mean, if you're just a few miles down the road or something, exception being, you know, harsh winters, depending on the state that you live in and stuff, yeah, like a, a bike would probably be better. I know a lot of people are like repairing their like mopeds and, and dirt bikes and different things right now that they don't use anymore. Wish I could experience the old west for real. Man, sometimes I think about that too, but then at the same time, like, do I really want to? Would I want to live this crazy harsh condition lifestyle Slow up. I get the more I can clearly hear he is imitating Tupac flow and even look well you know I I think that there's probably some truth to that but my initial point is just like the music you know Like, that guy had some hits, for sure. Do you think movies, TV are better than games? Because I think the opposite. Movies, TV are not very immersive most of the time. It looks like the characters are just reading off of the script. Um, well, I don't, I don't know if you can get immersed, immersed in a movie. Like, I don't... I don't know if that's possible because you're not playing it. It's not a, it's not an interactive experience. You know, like when people play a game like this, for example, this is just one example, but I think it's one of the better ones. You know, like look at this beautifully crafted world that Rockstar made. And then you're playing this character, John Marston. You're almost always by yourself. You know, you can, you could see yourself in this character. You know, you want to be this guy. You know, there's probably even women that play a game like this and, you know, wish they could, you know, live in these times or, you know, try to put themselves in this character's place. With a movie, you know, you watch like Goodfellas or something, 
you you know you're just watching that because the writing and the acting and the violence is like top notch, you know. Like you can't really get immersed in it. So it depends. I I think some games are better than some of the shows and movies, but like TV quality, like TV shows now, like a, some of that stuff is like so good that it rivals movies and in some cases it's better. I don't know if games are there yet. Like most games are not as well written as a really good book or movie or TV show. But, you know, there's there's a couple of exceptions. There's some games that get pretty close to top quality TV and movies. John? Marshall? Gentlemen! <clears throat> Uh, Bartender from Gunsmoke had crazy uh, village uh, feeders. Uh, <laughs> Out of nowhere, it's super cold. random. Why? What's happening? Sam has managed to get himself. I'm black, so no, I wouldn't want to experience the old west. Long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Crazy village feeders. <clears throat> Escunce yourself from the back of my wagon, John. The last the girl I was seeing. Crazy village feeders. Come on. Let's go. Black man here, too, not looking to catch the whip. tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I load... This part of the game is so epic. I should have made a separate save so I could record some footage. The signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. Holla, holla. John, it reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. Now I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. Village Come feeders, on, that's what's up. Greetings, my good men. <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into immortality a is woman? definitely <laughs> not at hand. Yes. Once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best About to be over for these the dudes. inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth. Elixirs that... Trinkets, trinkets. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can... Keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> They're going to drink something. A lot of bullets, maybe. Get 
Why would you even think about coming out of cover in a time like this? Weapon like this is just absolutely devastating. Hey, who the hell's... Holla, holla! I'm playing Fallout 4 lately. Why do they make some of the guns so big? That I, that was like one of the issues that I had. It's a little bit better on PC where you can like uh, adjust the FOV and things, but it doesn't help as much as I would like. What you got on you, friend? If you're playing on PC, you know uh, I can't remember. In Fallout 4, I think they change things. You might need to do more than press the tilde key on the keyboard to adjust the FOV. But in Fallout 3 in New Vegas, you just press the tilde key on your keyboard and you can do all kinds of things. Some cover you got there. Shanti was probably my first crush. She was definitely hot. She still doesn't look bad, but she's a little more washed up now, in my opinion. Which is better, Fallout 3 or 4? I've only played 4. Well, I mean, it kind of depends on what you want. Fallout 3 is a quite a... Oh, Seriously? Fallout 3 is a little bit more of an RPG, quite a bit more of an RPG than Fallout 4. And I, I think just from an exploration standpoint, an excitement standpoint, that feeling of like not knowing and everything, Fallout 3 is a little bit better even with the much more dated visuals. But I put a lot of time into Fallout 4, you know? Like, there's some things to like about it. Like, the, the gameplay can be really fun. Give me some cover, boy. But it is, it is not an RPG. It is so far removed from that. to figure out how these boys died exactly. Probably one of these guys, I would say. Yeah, but how, like, how is it my fault that the deputy got killed? Like, what am I supposed to do? Got that horse right in the arse. Oh shit, this dude's gonna die. I don't know where this dude's at. Damn, I was gonna fuck him up.
Dude, I took damage from that. Seriously? We still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy. Or Monica, Maya Janet Jackson before that. Never was that into Janet Jackson. She looks too much like Michael Jackson. Man, Janet was pretty amazing. I don't know, bro. She was pretty amazing. I would probably take her over all those girls. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. For me with Fallout 4, I didn't really like the story. That was the only complaint I had. It's your son, but everybody calls him father. Well, for other reasons, that's the problem that a lot of people had is that it was like another family deal, like Fallout 3 without a lot of the RPG stuff. It's just lame. Dude, I'm gonna mow their horses down. I'm killing all these bitches. Holla. Trying to figure out why that guy wasn't dying, bro. And why is that not blowing up? There we go. Fucking owned. I barely remember oh, LaToya. I'm talking Janet. So it looks like white MJ with a wig. <laughs> a lot of movies and TV. I cannot hear the voices of the He's actors in max Javier volume Escuela. with their monotone that acting. So the movies Where in Mexico? are so disabled that I, I need to put Bravo. subtitles on to fix this Where mess. Mexico, really? Place near Chupa Rosa, I think he said. <laughs> That's bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Well, I'll take you there, John. Uh, I'm real popular down there. I'll bet. So meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. And just get me things. I'm I think my this, first John. playthrough I sided I with the railroad or something. So I don't remember. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. I'll I'll probably never play Fallout 4 pocket. again. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshall. Hi, right, boys. That's enough. He's remembering, man, I got shot at the beginning of this game. 50 bucks. Awesome mission. One of the best in the game. One of the best in the game. All right, so... Kim Fields is another one. See, I got to look that up. Because, like, that name's not ringing a bell. Let me see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I remember. Fallout 4 taught us all we need to know. Fallout 4 kind of like shows you that Bethesda is no longer interested in making RPGs. 
you know, maybe that'll be different with um, – what's the name of this damn game? It's so, like, forgettable in my mind already. Uh, Starfield. Maybe it'll be different. I hope that I'm wrong, but there's a there's an interview somewhere, and you can watch it on YouTube, I think, where Todd Howard talks about playing, like, some mobile game that he likes a lot and how it just feels so rewarding – to do certain things even though you're not really doing anything you're not really accomplishing anything in the game and you can see that 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 sort of impact that it had on him has like influenced the way that they make games now so like they want you to feel like something's a big deal they want you to feel like you're doing something really cool or like you know there was like a big consequence for this action but really it's just the presentation of it that's awesome and you know as opposed to there actually being some you know substance some some actual impact some actual consequence to your actions in these games so i don't know like listen todd howard is a legend in his own right for a lot of different reasons but i just feel like i I don't trust Bethesda anymore. I trust everyone under them, you know, but I just don't know what they're doing anymore. John, thank you <clears throat> for dropping in. Thank you guys all for dropping in. I did mention that this wouldn't be a very long stream at the beginning, but I am going to have to call it. Tomorrow we'll come back and stream a little bit more of this or maybe play something else on PlayStation or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if you guys are down to watch, I'll probably be on around this time, I would say. Like after I get off work and then I eat a little something, we'll kind of go from there. So I do appreciate you guys. Grimpachi, thank you for um, doing some modding because, holy crap, these bots are annoying. So... You guys take care. If I don't see you tomorrow or the next day, you guys can't make the streams or whatever. Hey, that's totally fine. Have a good weekend and try to stay up, stay positive. I know that the world we're living in right now is like pretty crazy, but things could always be worse. And unfortunately, sometimes things do get a little bit worse before they get better. So just all you can do is wake up and take it one day at a time and find a way, even if it's something that's like really you know, it seems insignificant, really small, but try to do something every day that like makes you a little bit better of a person, whether it's for yourself or in the eyes of other people, you know, try to focus on yourself first and then everything else will, you know, kind of fall into place. So thank you guys again so much. I do appreciate it. Have a good one. Peace.